Okay, so a really quick video on a new product from Fox called the G-Max, which is a 215 kilowatt hour, 100 kilowatt um, power output. Um, not sure what you'd call it, a a, a grid scale uh, energy device, I suppose is probably the closest thing. So this is um, probably knocking on the doors of something like a Tesla Mega Pack, which is a powerwall type product scaled up to grid uh, grid scale where you start to go into megawatt hours so um, the G Max, according to this data sheet if I just zoom in a little bit we can see it can output 100 kilowatt hours uh, sorry 100 kilowatt of output power uh, which is the concurrent power you can parallel 10 of them on grid mode or five in off grid mode that there are a um, 768 volt architecture of the cells, the LFP, and they um, can support uh, two, their 215 kilowatt hours of capacity each. They talk about separated areas for the cabinet, liquid cooling. So I imagine the top of it's the battery packs, and the bottom of it with these vent holes is the liquid cooling cabinet side. Very wide temperature range, minus 25 to plus 60, that they support off-grid uh, mode as well. So uh, if you are a, uh, a large uh, grid operator or even responsible for a, a small town, having just over 2 megawatt hours worth of storage, so 2,150 kilowatt hours worth of storage, when you have 10 of these connected together, that's a pretty pretty dense, pretty um, large energy uh, product. So we'll have to see where these go because 215 kilowatt hours is 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 really too big for um, any sort of residential installations unless you're in a, a small community. Um, most, it becomes a bit pointless over about 80 to 100 kilowatt hours because you then can't charge them um, for, uh, as effectively. So yeah. So it's an interesting product to see Fox. So they're obviously entering large commercial grid scale type uh, solutions, which will only mean uh, the good things for residential and retail customers because bigger scale normally means better pricing. So we'll see these sell prices start to filter down to the retail units because we're at around 200-ish pounds per kilowatt hour right now if you're buying some of the EP or the ECS range. So to see a larger deployment, looking at the specs, you know, one and a half meters by one meter by 2.2 .2 meters tall. I mean, it's about as big as a, as an airing cupboard, um, sort of dimension. So a sort of server rack size unit. Um, I suspect it's going to be, it will conform to a certain size requirement, um, like, a like the U standard uh, sizing for server racks. So then it can be uh, a standard installation into uh, things like uh, server rooms and uh, other other grid scale substation type uh, stuff. So and can't wait to see some videos come out about this unit and where it's going to be deployed and what its advantages are. But it appears to be grid scale commercial in nature. But excited to see where the technology is going and how this filters down into the uh, the residential products that they build. So, yep, just a quick update. Thanks.